Oh, thank you very much, Hello, down here with the uh, champ, Jacko, and of course the coach of the Dockers, Rossi. He was, he wasn't, he is, he's going to. Aaron Sandler's will play. Look, I'm as much shocked as anyone. It certainly isn't a ruse. John Griffin, they're doing their final warm-up. He come off the ground, they're warming up. The doctor grabbed me, he's tweaked his groin, got him in. I said, what do you want to do? Where are you at? He said, look, I'm really worried about playing. So, obviously, some pressure there and, and the body. And fortunately, we got Aaron. So, I grabbed the group immediately. John's out, um, Aaron's in. So, what we'll have to do is share the ruck work. We've got Kepler, but we've also got Zach Dawson because McGuan goes in. So, we'll have to, you know, it's a pretty warm day, big ground. So, we'll ease the load and, and make it a three-way ruck rotation to help. Now, I know you do warm up several blokes, as usual, uh, yeah. from your interchange, well, sorry, your reserves. I watched Griffin and he ran off the ground because I was watching him yeah. intently to see yeah. if there was anything. He ran off pretty well, mate. What are you trying to say, dude? I'm just asking you. I'm telling you, he saw it's a bona fide injury where there's no ruse there because it's pointless. John Griffin, we just thought the way we've been pressing and getting after the ball, and it's going, they're a great running team or a really good running team. Um, so, yeah, there's no ruse. It's straight up and fortunately, because Aaron plays tomorrow, he's planning to play at East Fremantle, um, do the warm up. And that's and Tom Sheridan was the other one, and he's Peel Thunder's got the buy. So, look, you know, sort of in a real sense, it was a bold match committee decision not to pick him, but we thought we'd reward the players who've been doing the job and, you know, send a message that we're, you know, not a one sort of man team. So, yeah, yeah look, it's funny how the footy gods work, you know. Ross, let's go to today's game. I mean, coaches try and get things out of last week's losses. Yeah. Um, you had 11 goal kickers. That's the second time you've done that this yeah. year, mainly in the back half. When you look at the criticism the club got at the start of the year, don't kick goals. Obviously yeah. now you're very potent up forward. Oh, look, we're more, giving the forwards more opportunity. We've improved our structure in front of the ball. Midfield's lifted to provide opportunity. And that was probably the frustration. You know, I've been defending a well all yeah, when you need it last week, 28 entries to 18, and you know they're in front of the half time. So, and then our midfield fell away, particularly in the last quarter. So, if we can supply enough, I'm sure we can kick enough goals. I want to put the asset on Stephen Hill? There's a lot of talk on Trent Koch and uh, where he yeah. is at his football. Both are the yeah. same age. Both debuted a couple of years ago. Both played 84 league games. Yeah. Is it? now for Stephen Hill to stand up on a day like today, perfect conditions to really take this game by the scruff of the neck? Yeah, look, it's a great parallel. Like Great talent of players, both of them. Stephen's got every opportunity. The stage is set. We need him to deliver. He needs to bring great effort and, you know, can't be left to fire for Monday. We want weight and numbers and the expectation is he gets to work today. Rossi, like always, we love you and appreciate your time, mate. Good luck today. Thanks, Stephen. <laughs> Thanks, Jacko. <Jacker. laughs>